Thanks for joining us here at 6. Over the last nine months, Springfield police have written 141 citations for violating the city's ordinance that bans casino-style video gaming machines. But now the company that owns those machines says the city is going a step further, not renewing business licenses for stores that house the machines. Color 10's Parker Padgett is live in Springfield after speaking to an attorney for Torch Electronics and a local business owner. Yeah, attorney Chuck Hatfield says they filed a second lawsuit against the city last month, accusing police of illegally seizing several of those machines. As the COO of Rapid Roberts tells me tickets and seizures are one thing, but he's mostly concerned about losing his business license. We've been operating in Springfield for over 40 years, and we've never had an issue um, with the city or, or law, law enforcement in general. Um, so it was definitely due to... Um, to the machines. Chuck Hanfield, an attorney for Torch Electronics, says a city ordinance was passed in February to address lounges full of gaming machines. But now the fight is focused on convenience stores that house a few of Torch's machines and split profits with them. We thought the ordinance was overly broad and it swept up legitimate businesses and legitimate um, amusement devices into the ordinance it wasn't necessary. Hatfield says Springfield police seized torch machines from nine different businesses this summer and torch has no idea where they are now. Police need to follow a procedure to document where things are, why they've taken them, provide inventory um, lists, etc. And we don't have any of that. Now Hatfield is accusing the city of targeting business licenses. There have been some uh, efforts by the city to not renew licenses, and we've been conducting informal hearings with the businesses where the city uh, challenges the license. COO Todd Wilson says Rapid Roberts is one of those businesses. We uh, received notice that our business licenses were not going to be renewed. Um, we applied before the ordinance was placed, um, so they uh, they they they've been dragging their feet and then finally sent a notice that they were not going to be renewed. Now, Rapid Roberts is one of the nine businesses where a machine was seized and Wilson tells me that he notified Torch about that seizure and they simply replaced the machine themselves. We reached out to Springfield police and city leaders for any response to the suit or Hatfield's comments, but we're told they cannot comment on active litigation. Reporting live in Springfield, Parker Paget, Color 10 News.